Good afternoon. Sorry to keep you waiting there. I uh, typed in the description and then pressed done and then it deleted and I had to type it in again. So I like, oh no, I'm going to be late. But that's okay, we're here now. It's a little bit wet and murky out there. Um, you know, not looking so good, but at least it's not snowy. And of course, we're nice and warm in here, so all is, all is well. So good afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody's okay. Yes, it's December, my goodness me. Not long now. And uh, I thought we'd do a little bit of a festive tile today so that's two this week but i know that some of us if we've not managed to do our christmas cards yet these are quite nice to just sort of uh, use the slot die and slot them into a single card and just put happy christmas at the bottom job done so are we ready for it then okay so what do i have with me today i've got my pen my regular pen i've got my pencil i've got my tortillon there we go see regular pen pencil tortillon i also have some colored pencils with me in case I want to put a bit of colour in, but of course we always wait and see with that. And we'll see how it goes a little bit later. So, shall we make a start? I'm going to start with, I'm going to come straight in with a pen. Just to sort of get me going. I need a little bit of a, a line to sort of start me off on the, on the track, so to speak. So I'm not going to worry too much about it being perfectly straight. In fact, I'm going to put a bit of a wobble in it on purpose. There we go. Sounds good so far. Okay, I might even put, you know, a couple of extra little lines just sort of in there to give it a, a little bit of a grounding. There we go. So that's where we sort of start. So I'm going to come in now with my pencil. I just want to put a bit of a guideline. So here we go. I love a wobble. I know, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to put a line of about about there just a little bit see a little bit of a mark if i sort of press in my pen in so you can see how far up you see not too far just you'll you understand it in a little bit another little one okay and then from there i'm going to add in a bit of a wobble i say a wobble it's a sort of a curve let's go from here all the way up i'm just going to curve it off whether you, if you want to turn it off to the right, it's absolutely fine. It really doesn't matter. And there. Okay. And I'm going to start with this little bit here. I'm just going to turn it because I find it easy to draw lines that way. I'm going to put myself a line in there. And a line down bank. And one there. Okay. Let's uh, make that a little bit bigger. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill it with some swirls. You don't have to do that dot, but I, I kind of like it. It sort of defines, so that's where I'm gonna start. There we go. If you wanna do them different ways, you can do them left and right, anti-clockwise, clockwise, lots of really little tiny ones, or you can do lots of big ones, or one whole big one if you like. It's whatever you wanna do. into this next one and back around just as before and of course another one here there we go it's nice not to in there just to sort of go with whatever space you've got there at the time there we go so uh, just gonna Keep it going. Same with this one. And just fill that gap in there. There we go. Okay, maybe uh, let's just put a little bit of line in there. Okay. So then let's just sort of wander in this way. And I'm just going to add a bit of a line in. Just going to make it a little bit thicker there. There we go. And of course, so just uh, add a bit of a, a row of bubbles in there. There we go. So we just fill that space up. 
So let's have a look at this bit then. I'm just going, I'm going to start about sort of in the middle. I'm going to put in another sort of a taller rectangle shape there. There we go. I'm going to have one here. I'm going to have a bit of a sort of an odd kind of crumply shape there. See, this sort of going in and out a little bit to that one and then I think on this side I'm going to do the, something a bit larger okay just join that one there okay and then yeah I'm just going to bring one here that's a little bit off kilter Sort of almost falling off, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> so I'm going to bring one in sort of uh, slightly off here. And of course, to help balance this, we need a bauble. Let's put a bauble in there. So there we go, a bit of a bubble, but let's just make it a little bit bigger. To make it a bauble, I'm just going to add that little sort of tangle on the top. There we go, and maybe a little bit of a mark there, just to give it a bit of a... Uh, there we go, a bit of a bauble. <laughs> I could even actually put the uh, little ring on, look, and a little it's hanging down. There we go. <laughs> And then uh, let's put one on. Let's put one on here. See, so that's sort of going slightly that way. And then uh, I'm going to get one in here. So I'm sort of loosely following the shape of this tree here. Doesn't it? We've got to have a, an elf in there keeping the keeping that one up. And then let's just sort of do. I'm going to do another one here, keeping them sort of square. But you can change the shapes if you like. It's fine. There we go. All right. So at the top here, I'm just going to add a couple of bubbles, just sort of knocking it that way. Have a look at this. I'm going to go a bit bigger. So let's start with. Um, I want to sort of watch this first. I'm going to do a little bit of a, a curl round and round. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a wave on there. And do another. And another. Let's put a little line on the top there and a little one that way. Another loop and another loop. There we go. Let's put a couple of little lines in there. <laughs> there we are. There she is. Look, shall we? 
give us some closed eyes. Maybe a bit of a, oh, what's going on? <laughs> look at that. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come back to this larger piece here, this larger sort of uh, box shape. Let's put a, uh, put the grid in there. Same here, this one. There we go. And then across where each one crosses over the other, I'm just gonna add in a little squarish kind of shape there. There we go. Just sort of and of course you don't have to use black for this you can use any color you like if you want to do it different colors I'm sure if you've uh, you've got like the chameleons they'd be quite nice or you could use a gel pen or a bit of glitter <laughs> and then uh, okay, let's, see. let's have a look at this one I'm just gonna do um, maybe a line one side than the other let's go a bit bigger I'm just going to do some little loops on this side. Same on this one. There we go. Might even fill them in. And these ones. There we go. And the top I might just sort of get a bit of a bow in there. Okay. Oh, what about this one then? It looks like it's been crumpled under the weight. <laughs> I'm just going to, uh, I think I'm going to put some other swirls in. I'm not going to fill the whole thing. I think I'm just going to do uh, just a couple of little, so it's like a bit of a flourish. There we go. There we are. Nice one. And then uh, let's go to this one. Let's give it some ribbon going this way. And then maybe in. Um, side we could do. I think I'm gonna leave that one actually. I think I'm gonna might maybe put a little bit of a bow on here. See a bit of a so a couple of triangles either side. <laughs> there we are. And there on this one. So maybe we are, we're gonna get a little bit decorative and just have a bit of a ribbon. You know they go round and sort of work just on the corners don't they? Let's give a couple there. And then uh, in the middle of this one, I think I'm going to fill it with bubbles. There we go. All different sizes. There we go. See, you're not worrying too much about that bow. It's sort of in the front of this one. So. There we are. Okay. A little bit there in that corner. I think while we're here, see that we can put a little bit of the line in a loop. There we go. <laughs> All right. What about this one? Let's, let's bring a little bit of ribbon in there. And then a little bubble at the top. But this time, if we just put a little there, see it gives it a bit of shape and just bring in a little curved line there, gives us a bit more of a shaped kind of bow. So I think just for these ones, let's go down in little triangles, I'm going to go the opposite way and then I'm going to fill this side with lines that way and then lines that way. Now you could use any tangle for these if you want to, it really doesn't matter. But, uh, I know she's kind of small but works quite well. There you go and same with this one. Oh sweet. <laughs> That's uh, this next one then. Let's have a um, put a line on. 
asam Allah Allah and then uh, still a little bit of aura okay and then uh, let's do this one what are loops Kari, that's it. I hope she's all right. If she's not been feeling well. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, Chris. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> I know sometimes we can be a little bit too. We can get things wrong. It's, uh, all this, these gnomes and elves and things wandering around. It's getting a bit busy. Yeah. All right, I'm going to come in here with loops. See, loops around. There we go. Keep it going. There we go. And again, I'm just going to put a little bit of a bow on the top there. And then just sort of maybe a bit of loose string. Okay, speaking of elves, I've got one here causing chaos. Sorry! <laughs> I did bring you a cup of tea though. Thank you. Yeah. Just, just knocked off everything else. But <laughs> Oh, it's a good job, I love her. <laughs> oh, okay. Just going to put some bubbles on this one, all sort of different sizes. There we go. And I'm just going to fill where I can with some lines. There we go. Same with this one. Okay. Nice, like that one. See, you can get a bow on here as well. Might go a bit bigger. I'll have that one go behind. There we are. A couple of little lines in play there. <laughs> Chris, do you think they're all full of sand tangle things? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Do you know, it's, it, it's crazy, isn't it? I do absolutely love it. The thought that people are going to be opening presents on Christmas morning and they are sandangle products. It's so humbling and it's just wonderful. I can't believe how, how well it's gone and how people support me. It's lovely. <laughs> yeah, lots of tiles. <laughs> I think oh, we've got this little one at the top here. What are we going to do with this one? I think maybe if we do, um, just to sort of finish it off, a bit of a swirl. But I'm going to use the whole space. There we go. To fill the whole thing. There we are. Look at that little angel. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this. <laughs> okay, so we've got a bit of a, yeah, a pile of presents here, but some of them are a little bit precarious, as we know. But of course, we need a little bit of, festive decoration don't we so let's put another bauble in there and it's a little sort of rectangle shape on the top there and another so we can do different shapes we know that we get baubles on different shapes let's balance it up on this side with another Go a bit bigger with this one there we go Do we have anywhere we can dangle a few from? What about here? There we go. Oh, I know, Christine. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't want to overdo it too many at this side kind of thing. But um, I think let's just add a little bit of our sort of... Uh, Foliage in there. You see, just a couple. There we go. And a bit of dots and dashes. There we go. Just sort of in the midst of it all. There. Maybe a little bit of that one growing up there too. Yeah. So, 
just going to put my pen down for a minute and uh, grab a cup of tea being that Leslie made it me and here we go I'm going to go back in with pencil just for a minute and what I'd like to do is just very gently put myself in a little bit of a border now we're not going to keep it like this it's going to be different Chris, does that mean that somebody else is going to post first? Mm -hmm. oh, that's nice of you to give them a chance. Oh, I hope you're okay. Right. So I'm going to come in now with my uh, my pen. And I'll turn it around the other way, actually, because I'm going to work from this side first. And what I'm going to do is create from here, I'm going to create a bit of a wave. Just sort of go with the flow, let it do its thing. Okay, and turn it round. Now, of course, I'm doing it left-handed, so if you find it easier to do it the other way around, please feel free, it's not a problem. Just do whatever's comfortable for you. And then here, look, I'm just going to leave a bit of a gap where she is. There we go. All right. So I'm going to aura. I think I'm going to aura inside. Just sort of very gently follow it round. There's no rush with this, you can take your time. There we go. And of course, same on this one. I'm going to aura it inside. There we are. So that's why we just put the border in in pencil. We just wanted to give us a little bit of an idea. I'm just going to now, I'm just going to come in and rub out my pencil line. I don't really want it to confuse things now. Let's get rid of it. Okay, maybe even that, I'm going to remove the uh, line inside that tree as well. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to sort of turn it back around again and I'm going to I'm going to just do um, another line. You see, this time I'm going inside and underneath. So I'm not doing every single one. You see, I'm just sort of going with the flow. And then turn it round. Let's bring that one out here, see? Just sort of in and out. There we go. Perhaps one there. And that's sort of going to go in and through and to here and carry it on so I'm not trying to create a, a pattern or anything like that it's just sort of following along whatever here we go so let's do another aura so whether you go inside or outside what, whatever works for you this time so uh, it really doesn't matter I'm just going to uh, work it round nice and gradual. See, that's sort of going in and around that way. It's doing that there. And then see, it sort of comes out here. So this time it's sort of worked better for me to go on the outside edge. Okay. See, that's going to go on. You're not going to really see much of that. And then... So I'm going to stick with that outside. There we go, one into there. That's going to be quite narrow, but that's fine. Come back in. And back round. There we go. I'm just going to join those to, to that one. There we go. Okay. So I think, um, yeah, I think while we, we've got these little shapes here, let's just put another, another little gift sitting there. Again, bit of a bow on the top. Okay, just sort of fill in a little triangular shape there. Can you see that shape? And then curve inside, curve inside. A couple of little lines there. That's uh, coming a bit bigger then. 
just gonna draw in a couple of lines for this one. Okay, I'm just sort of turning my tile as I go. And uh, maybe one there, look. So somebody's gone a bit crazy with the ribbon in this present. <laughs> there we go. Dobby's been at that one. All right. So let's have a look now. We've got some gaps here. Let's sort of bring out a bit of a line. Now, what if we we go a little bit bigger with those letter M's that we did the other day? Maybe one up here. So again, if, you, if you're not sure about that one, I know we talked about this. Add the dots in like so. You know where you're sort of headed. Let's bring in another. Whatever works for you, it's fine. And there we are. So maybe uh, one in here. And same that way. Do another top. So you don't have to sort of put uh, loads in. You can put as many as you want. There we are. She's not going to have much fun with Holly there, is she either? There you go. So going underneath. Now here we've got quite a bit of space, so feel free to bring it down a bit more, and then uh, bring in your holly, and then uh, add a few more sprigs in there. Another one here, maybe. So we, we, you know, we're getting quite large with this, but it's nice to sort of you know extend the border into the image you want. I mean you could add more presents if you want to either side or you could do a different sort of tangle in here. It's gonna have a couple here. We're sort of changing the, the length of these branches just to suit the space I'm in at the time. Okay let's have a look. Oh look at that. There we go. And of course we need some little berries. So sort of wherever you can, I'm just gonna fill in some little bubbles. Maybe even a few more there, look. I'm not gonna do too much there, maybe just one poking through. And let's have a few more here. There we are, just to uh, add them in. Same sort of here. Collection on this one as well, and then a few on here. There we go. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> I think we can just sort of come in and add a couple of little ones, Some tiny little ones, a couple of little uh, bits either side. Go a bit bigger with that. There we go. See, just, it just sort of changes the dimensions a little bit. It gives it a little bit of extra texture. There we go. Maybe yeah. Uh, you know, if you've got a little bit of space and it's not quite big enough, see, we can bring them out here as well if we want. So you can go a bit crazy if you like, or you can just sort of stick with a, a few of them. Maybe another one there. Just a little bit along here. It's really great, great to practice doing them really small like that. Because you can't really see sort of whether they're spot on or not doesn't really matter and of course you can go over the top of some and underneath others if you want to see like here we can go underneath there we go have another one see that's going to come over so it's sort of embroiled within the design let's have one maybe see coming in and under there there we go, sort of one up there, 
should need it. Let's have a look at that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so uh, I think what we do need to do, we're going to bring in a little bit of shading first. I think then we'll do a bit of colour. So just to sort of start us off, let's go a bit larger with this border. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to follow it around with pencil just on one side. You see I'm going over the top. So this is sort of the first line that I drew, see? And then of course, when you've got some going under, I'm going to do the same thing, but it's going underneath. And again, I've just chose one side, I'm not doing both. So whether you want to do in or out, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, that <laughs> means it's great, isn't it? If in doubt, it's like put a butterfly on it during the spring and summer, but if in doubt, put some holly on it. <laughs> so there we go, see, straight over the top there. And then again, just on the bit underneath, just choosing one side. And then along here. Right just going on around one edge. Inside there. Okay, so now I'm going to do the little berries with a little smirk on there and just a little bit of pencil on the bottom edge. Now, of course, you can come in and you can do this with colour if you like, but I want to sort of restrict my colour to the tree. So it just bits at the bottom, you see. Another one here, so entirely up to you. You can, you can go completely full colour. You can do it all in shadow, or just with pencil, whatever works for you. But I just want my my tree to stand out, so I'm just gonna do all the the frame in shading. There we go. Okay, so let's sort that out. I'm gonna do a bit here first. Sort of a bit along there. So bringing in my tortilla. There we go. I'm just very. I don't want to go over my angel too much there. I'm just going to work my way down these little lines. It's getting that way. And then the same this way. So you're just sort of softening them up a little bit. Gives it a sense that things are moving in and out and going under and over. So. I'm not trying to move it too far, it's just about softening that initial line that we drew. So you can always add more if you think it needs it. Same with this one. There we go. So I'll do that one first. Okay. And bring it round. Same with this one. Thing. I'm just going to soften that pencil a bit and take it towards the edge a little bit. And of course, a little bit of a softening in with those little berries there. And of course, there we go. Just a little bit of softening there. I mean, I notice I've done nothing with those little ones. They're just sort of in the background. They're fine where they are. <laughs> so there we go. There's our border. Okay. So colour-wise... Oh, let's have a look. I'm going to start with... I'm going to keep it a bit traditional, I think. I'm going to come in with a little bit of brown. Or the present at the bottom there. So that's going a little bit bigger. And uh, just sort of... 
add a little bit in. Now, as you know, we can't blend these with a the tortillon, so anything that we do, we've got to sort of blend it in all by ourselves. So I'm just going to sort of fade it off a little bit in the background there. And I'm going to bring a bit in of um, a bit of a ready brown here. Let's just bring some of that in. So even if you're not the best colorist in the world, don't worry about this. It's this small packages. They're not going to be something really tricky to do. And I've just gone over two colors there. See? Oh, I've got a bit of a dark brown. There we go. I'm just going to add some. Just sort of in the bottom and down that one side there. There we go. Okay. So I think I'm going to stick with that dark brown for that base. And just sort of really dark one side and just get a bit lighter as you go along. That's all I'm going to do with that one. Then, of course, uh, I've got to have a red present in there somewhere. So I'm going to come in, I've got um, two reds, sort of darker red, lighter red. There we go, darker red, lighter red, so it's almost orangey, that one. I'm going to start with the dark red. I'm going to, I'm going to do this one here. It's sort of in the middle of the tree. So again, I'm just going to put a bit of that darker up one side, see, and then bringing it sort of down like so. Let's just sort of bring in the other over the top of it. Pressing on quite a bit today because we can build up the layers, but because it's so small, we don't really need to. You see, you've got that little bit of darkness with that red. Let's go back in and re establish that. A couple of the layers there, and then, of course, just going to fill that in. So it's not going to be a complete work of art in terms of colouring. It's just a bit of, you know, adding two colours together to get something. So that's my red. Let's, uh, let's bring in a blue. Same sort of thing. A light blue and a dark blue. There we go. That's the red. Pencil's all over the place now. So I'm going to start down here. I'm going to bring in, you know, because I did my tree with a dark bit. I'm going to sort of start with the darkness down there. Just bring it in a little bit, see? And then uh, come on in with that lighter colour. And again, because it's just a small area, we're not going to overdo it. And of course, if you're... Oh, good girl. If you're going to use um, a regular pencil and tortillon, you're just going to add in your uh, pencil where I'm putting in the darker that's better where I put the darker colours and then just use your tortillon to soften it out there we go that's better okay so far so good alright, bit of a yellow for my yellows, I've got a yellow and an orange so this is going to take a little bit more to blend so let's sort of go with Something a bit smaller, just a little bit of orange in there. And then bring in the yellow. See, so nothing, I'm not going to go too crazy with them. There we go. Alright, bit of a green. It's nice, isn't it, to bring all the different colours in over the over here we, you can if you want to have a you know a tree that's all you're choosing the same color then that's fine too there we go two greens look all right but while i'm doing it i'm going to bring um, a green bauble in down here just add a bit of that dark red maybe i should have done that with the other colors as i was going and then, okay we're on to pink darker colour in either side of those little ribbons there. And then uh, just bring in the lighter pink. And again, maybe I'll uh, do that bauble at the top there. Oh, okay, a bit of purple. 
again too difficult to appear full small it's more a magenta -y color so i might just actually do that because it's quite small in just one and maybe the the lighter purple just to do the bow the extra bits okay okay maybe yeah yeah i'll do that bulb there Jackie, it's looking good, isn't it? There's a few bits of colour in there. So it depends on how many you've got. This pack I've got here, I've got 24 colours. So it's just a case. I think now I'm going back in and doing a few others. But um, I need to put some of these on my shop, actually. These are lovely pencils. And they're in packs of uh, 36. So, so I'm just going to colour the whole thing there. Maybe again. And a black. Over the top, there we go. Put the bow in, and then the, and then maybe bring that blue back. So this is the lighter blue. Just sort of do a light at the top, and then a darker at the bottom. Okay. See, so the thing is, you don't have to sort of think too much about it. Just sort of use the colour pack you've got and see where it goes. Uh, and they are, here we go, they are Brunzeal expression colour. They come in a, a tin. Uh, so I, I'm sure I need to look them up. I'm sure I've got some packs of 36. Here we go, look. Looks like that, a lovely little tin. Um, so that's the ones I've used. They're, they're really nice. Blend well. So it's uh, nice to have them. Okay, I'm going to bring in... Um, Bit of a yellow. I'm just going to stick with because they're quite small now. Bit of a yellow parcel there. Maybe go uh, again light blue ribbon. Again, I'm not completely shading this too much. It doesn't really need it. I might put um, a few little marks on that stuff. Maybe yeah. Uh, just to sort of finish this pink one up here. Maybe, yeah. I think here. Again, of course, not forgetting we've got this one at the bottom here. So let's go for... Uh, I'm going to go back into red there. Actually, I'm going to give it a red bow. Okay. I think maybe yeah, a bit of a red bauble there as well. And, uh, I'm going to go completely different here. Let's go with um, sort of a green set of eyes and then I'm going to go over the whole thing with that green there. Maybe give that some green ribbon. What else do we need? We need uh, a bit of, maybe a bit of purple, not really too heavy there. Border. Down there. Okay, it's almost done. Look at that. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to stick with this. we go purple at the top there. And of course, we've got our little angel. I think I'm going to give her. Um, I've got sort of, it's like a, a tealy blue, isn't it? I'm going to give her a bit of a, a blue dress. There we go. And a little bit of colour, just, just a little bit lightly on the wings there. Okay, and then right here, I'm just going to give it a little bit, a little bit of blue. And then, oh, one more thing, I suppose it's just the, uh, oh, doesn't want to go down. We've just got a little row of bubbles there. I'm just going to go across them with the bit of colour and there we go <laughs> let's have a look at that that's not bad at all it's all right that i think uh, we could perhaps just go back in with pen and i'm just going to pick out um this sort of front row you know it's very sort of first line we did just to sort of 
There we go. And just the front row and the back piece as well, just where we added that little bit of shade. And then of course turning it round, same again, just going to add in that little row there. Okay. And there we go. See, it's, uh, it's coming up to three years. In a week or so is uh, how long I've been on creating craft. It's gone by really quickly. But, uh, they've given me a couple of shows to uh, you know spend some time on the TV, so that should be good. There we go. <laughs> you know, it's we've not we've put colour on there, but we've not put too much effort into it. And that's really quite nice because the whole thing's a little bit higgledy piggledy, isn't it? So we don't need a lot of uh, a lot of shading and things like that. And of course, if you want to, you can come on in and add a little bit of sparkle <laughs> and a little bit of, of glitter. But it's it's kind of nice, especially how she's sort of falling into the holly and things. It's uh, hope hope you like it. Anyway, it's uh, it's quite a nice one. And, uh, I'm just going to sign it here. So you've had a, a double whammy today. You've had advent tile number three and you've had tile number 196. Goodness me, we are getting through it. So tomorrow then, tomorrow's going to be tile number four for advent. Uh, depends on uh, on what time my mum arrives as to whether I do it before or after because she's coming coming over for the day. And uh, So that should be fun. And uh, <laughs> yeah, if you've met my mum, that would make sense. <laughs> so... Yeah, here we go, tile number uh, 196. So if you've not done um, any Christmas cards yet, this might be one that you can uh, send out to people and say it's quite easy to do, it doesn't take long. And uh, you have a bit of fun with it while you're doing it. And of course, if you wanted to do it all one color, so it's very, very stylized or cosmopolitan, you could do that, but have a bit of fun with it. So uh, if I'll see some of you tomorrow, maybe uh, I see you. If not, you can catch up. Uh, on those little advent tiles whenever you see you know you, you got the time and i will speak to you all again on wednesday at two o'clock so have fun everybody oh not to forget tile swaps are going to be out i will be posting them out on monday so if anybody's sent them in and they do arrive tomorrow you're still in with a chance of having it swapped so that should be fine so other than that take care everybody and i'll speak to you again on wednesday all right have fun everyone bye